Take it away. Let's take it away. Okay, I'm super excited. Hi guys, we are here to make a dairy-free mac and cheese. Jill has done this before, I have not. Anxious to try it. It's actually gluten-free too. Now you don't have to use a gluten-free pasta. No. But we're, we just started the shred, so yeah. if I'm gonna eat it, I want Right, we're on day one of our 10 day shred for February, and so mac and cheese sounds delicious. My kids love mac and cheese. Um, I have a couple homemade versions that are not so healthy, delicious, but yes. not so healthy. Oh God, your mac and cheese is so good. It's one of my favorites. So good. That's a big splurge, but but this is a great healthy way to make it, and so I'm anxious it to try it. It's like spoon. What do you have there? Uh-uh. <gasps> You are the best. <laughs> oh my gosh, I love mushrooms. I'm so uh -huh. excited. Okay, so I came across, you know, I keep trying to find recipes that are that are plant-based, that are dairy-free. Um, and that are delicious. And that are delicious. That's our mission. So there's a lot of um, uh, blogs out there that you can that you can Google. Um, and one of them, it's it's called Taste, It Doesn't Taste Like Chicken. So that's the name of the blog. Oh. Okay. So okay. she's all plant-based. Okay. So she has this recipe for a dry, um, like cheese mix. Okay. You know, like what what you do with like craft mac and cheese. Yeah. So like the little powder packet. Right. You make so your own. Everything that's in here. Let's see. Nutritional yeast. Um, there is flour. You can use gluten free uh, flour if you want, which I did. Um, white sugar. A little little bit of white sugar. Paprika, salt, onion powder, garlic powder, lemon pepper. And I always say this wrong. I love Tur it. Turmeric. Oh, turmeric. Turmeric. I say it wrong every time. And then you just... Oh, shit. That, that's not on. <laughs> I like doing that here, don't I? <laughs> <laughs> Scene take two. <laughs> Hello, back at the ranch. <laughs> okay, so I just... I, I just have this mixed up in the cabinet, and you can whip this together real fast. So what I've done here is I've probably put about a little over, it's probably about three cups of, <clears throat> sorry, three cups of pasta already cooked. Once again, gluten-free. Let's turn that turn on. Yeah, go ahead and turn that on. And so um, I am adding, right now I'm just going to add a cup of a dairy-free um, milk. And you use soy milk, right? I did use soy milk, and I know everybody's like, oh, soy milk, soy milk. It's, it, it, it's yeah. I mean, you could use any kind you of dairy-free milk. There's something There's about it. soy milk in my pasta recipes that I that I really like. It's about the only time we use it, right? We normally use almond milk or coconut milk, right. but the soy milk, for some reason, is just a little, um, I guess, richer and creamier. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to do a quarter cup. I just splashed that on my face. <laughs> I did a quarter cup of um, vegetable broth. I probably should have done more of that, but okay. So we're just gonna more. we're gonna bring this up to a boil. Okay. Now that I've kind of brought this up to a boil, so what what's gonna happen is the um, some of the starch from the pasta will also thicken this up. Okay. Okay. So we've got that kind of. Boiling. I'm going to add a half a cup of the dry mac and cheese powder. Okay. Should turn that down just a bit? Yep. Is that good? Uh -huh. okay. So let's add, let's add a little, a little bit. bit. Just a little bit, yeah. Is that good? Good. Uh -huh. Smells good. It smells really good. And I, and I know what you're thinking. You're thinking, Jill, did you make this recipe up as you as you go? Yes. I'm I'm kind of I kind of tweaked this recipe of hers because I. You're good at that. <laughs> well, we'll see. We'll see about that. We'll one. see after we taste it, right? All right. I'm gonna add a little bit in the rest of this. So I and I can tell you, I make um, a dairy-free pasta like alfredo and mm -hmm. that's actually on it's you know we've made it before uh-huh and my son loves it i have three containers in the fridge right now there was four and he'll come home after school and he'll grab that and he'll eat that that's awesome which listen i mean there's peas in it there's spinach in it um that's awesome and, good yeah good for him so this looks delicious okay. it's getting so nice and creamy do you want to um 
throw in the mushrooms? I will. So all I did, because we both love mushrooms, and you don't have to do mushrooms, but we love mushrooms. I had, I had some mushrooms that needed to get sauteed down. Yeah. So I just sauteed them down in a little bit of olive oil with, yeah. um, with some, a little bit of garlic and yeah. I think mushrooms give dishes a meaty consistency and so you're not getting the calories but you're getting the consistency and I just think they have great flavor. I know not everyone likes them but what? I do. What? I mean, come on, that looks you know what, I don't really like raw mushrooms. Mind them. I, I'm not a fan, but I love cooked mushrooms. This is so good. I'm gonna have to try it and see if we need more seasoning because it called for a little bit more seasoning, but I was like, what? Well, that's a lot. Mm -hmm. All right, it doesn't look like it does. I don't know. All right, I would turn the flame off. Okay. in your mouth. I won't watch. Hmm. It's steaming. Hot. Hot. Mm -hmm. hmm. Perfect. Mm -hmm. Ew, I need to get a spoon. And try. I actually think I'm going to add a little more. Not good. Let's do that. Looks so good. And I know you're not Heather's not big on pasta. Like it's not something that she'll go out and order. And I really don't order pasta out unless it has mushrooms in it. Yeah. I don't know why. Um, I never order pasta. I mean, I can't even tell you that if I've, it's been years, but um, I, mean, I don't know. It's not my go-to, but I, it, this looks really good though. Try this with the mushroom. It's hot though, so be careful. Okay, so be careful. All right. Steaming. My mouth looks like as delicate as yours. I have a delicate mouth. Mm -hmm. So good. It, it tastes like mac and cheese. It does. It's good. I Nutritional know. yeast is just, I mean, it, it's amazing to me how much that, it gives something the cheesy taste, you know? It boggles my mind. Uh -huh. Boggles my mind. That's delicious. So I'll put this in the fridge, and like I said, my, my son loves it mm -hmm. and actually I served it to him he started eating it he's like do I want to know what's in here I'm like no just eat it do you like it he's like I love it mom this is so good came back for a second helping sat down and then I told him I'm like there's no dairy in it there's no cheese which actually is a good thing because Ryan really doesn't like cheese so I think that actually helped yeah believe it or not so yeah it's know. just amazing to me where, you know, we always hear it's so, it's so good for us to eat plant-based, and it truly is. I mean, that's the way that, that we were created to eat. But we've gotten so far away from that that it seems almost like an impossible feat. And so we're just, we're just trying to show you that you can have these staples that you absolutely love. <laughs> Most people love mac and cheese. They want to have their mac and cheese fix. And, you know, you can have these delicious staples, but have them still be really healthy, be plant-based, be good for you, mm -hmm. and and get to enjoy them. And really that's that's our goal of, of all of our videos is to is to show you that. So because you are you are you are what you eat. What you put in your body is what you're gonna get out of it. So um it's just so important that we you know we put good stuff into our body and fuel it correctly. Yeah. So, so I will go ahead and um, post the link to the the dry mix um, through that blog, it tastes like chicken. Or, I'm sorry, it doesn't taste like chicken. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever. Whatever. <laughs> yeah. Um, and then I'll go ahead and, um, that's really it. Yeah. Make, make the mix. Yeah. And you can, you can add whatever you want. If you don't want mushrooms, add some peas. I love peas and pasta. Um, you can add some sauteed veggies. Or you can just leave it plain. Plain. Plain mac and cheese. Mm -hmm. So, I guess yeah. that's Enjoy. It. Yes. Yeah. Thanks, guys. See you later.